All right, so um, on this problem, it's a multi-step. You can see that we have a variable. Well, we have two on the same side, as well as a variable on both sides, right? So this is occurs for a multi-step problem. So whenever we're dealing with multi-step, it doesn't matter if the variable's on the same side or variable's on the opposite side, we have to simplify the equation. To simplify, what I mean is apply distributive property if we have parentheses, and then combine like terms. So basically, wherever I have my parentheses, I, have, uh, I can apply distributive property. That's what I'm going to go ahead and do. So by applying distributive property, I have 4a plus 8 minus 2a equals 10 plus 3a plus 3. Now, a lot of times, ladies and gentlemen, it doesn't, uh, it's not as obvious. Is it probably 9? It is 9. That's my second mistake today. Um, when you're working through these, a lot of times it's sometimes, a lot of times it's helpful to rework the problem so you know which like terms you can combine. Because obviously 4a and negative 2a, those are the same like terms, right? They both have a variable factor of a. So a lot of times it's helpful just to rewrite it. You do not have to do this step, but I think a lot of times students get mixed up by kind of forgetting how to combine them. Because you can't combine a number with a, with a number and a variable fact and a variable. So 4a minus 2a is 2a plus 8 equals 10 plus 9 is 19 plus 3a. So now it kind of goes back into our step of um, getting the variable to the same side, just like we were talking about that literal equation. And again, you can subtract. You want to subtract 3a over here? That's fine. My personal preference is to always subtract the variable where you're going to have a positive variable when you do that. So if I subtract 3a on both sides, 2a minus 3a is negative a, right? I just don't want to deal with negatives. So instead of subtracting 3a on both sides, I'm going to subtract 2a on both sides. Again, it doesn't matter. If you subtract 3a, you eliminate the variable on the right side. If you subtract 2a, you eliminate it on the left side. You don't really eliminate it, but you get it to a 0. Yes? So you can subtract a variable on the variable? I thought Mm-hmm. You can do that. You cannot subtract 2a, though, from 19, because that's a number. This is a number times a variable. So as long as they have the same variables to the same power, you can subtract and add them. Okay. And the way we always like to think about it, just another thing you know, too, like, hey, let's say you have three apples, and you're subtracting two apples. Yeah, of course, you have one apple, right? But if you have like the number 19, you, if you have the number 19, you subtract two apples, that doesn't like make sense, right? You still have the number 19 minus two apples. Like, so you can't combine. These aren't, very, these aren't the same. But as long as you have the same variable factors to the same power, so these are both to the power of 1, you can, you can subtract them. All right. Um, so therefore, that subtracts to 0a, which is just 0. So I have 8 equals 19 plus a. Now we have a one-step equation. Subtract, subtract, and then I'll have negative 11, right? Plus equals positive a. Yeah. OK, any questions? No?